briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a significant patent dispute case from 2006, pharmaceutical companies Apotex and Sanofi locked heads over the drug Plavix, used widely to reduce thrombotic events. It began when Apotex attempted to break into the market by creating a generic version of the drug, backed by an ANDA filing. However, this move was quickly opposed by Sanofi, which asked the court for a preliminary injunction and called for a product recall from Apotex, already in distribution. Ruling originally in favor of Sanofi, the district court granted the requested injunction. The court noted that the factors for preliminary injunctive relief favored Sanofi, leading to Apotex's appeal. The Canadian company challenged the court's previous ruling and argued that the decision was based on a misinterpretation of Sanofi's patent's validity. They cited the previous recognition of the bisulfate salt in another patent and contended that the drug patent was obvious. In a turnaround of events, the Court of Appeals upheld the decision of the district court and ruled against Apotex. The court found the company's claims unsatisfactory and noted Sanofi's potential for irreparable harm if Apotex's generic version were to flood the market. This decision factored in the broader public interest in drug development, which tipped the balance favoring Sanofi over Apotex's fiscal concerns. In the end, the court affirmed the preliminary injunction and set a hefty $400 million bond, giving Sanofi a victory in this high-stakes patent litigation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.